In our health alert tonight, as the temperatures start to rise, the risk of children dying in hot cars rises as well. Yeah, listen to this. In 2018, 52 children died in overheated vehicles, the highest number on record. Today, we're exploring what's going on. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is live tonight in the parking lot. So, Doc, if you're just running a quick errand, what's the longest amount of time you can safely leave a child in a car? Really quick answer, Alan, there really is no safe time that you should leave a child in the car. And the reason for that is, look at the cars around me. On a hot day, the windows, if a car is closed, uh, the windows are fully closed, the temperature inside can zoom up to 130 degrees. And even when the temperature is really not that high, 60 to 75 degrees outside, what can happen inside the car, especially if the sun is shining, it can get really, really hot. So that's why I think that, you know, there's really not a safe amount of time to leave your child in the car. And why are people leaving their children in their cars? Are parents not fully understanding the consequences? Right, Heather's like, what's going on? How come people don't get it? Well, I think it's a number of factors. The first one is that people don't realize that the little people, kids, actually are more at risk than adults. And there are a number of factors for that. Number one, you know, their little bodies are actually get Heat, heated up even three to five times faster than ours do. And people often underestimate that quick errand, right? You think it'll be a couple of minutes, but it turns into 15 or 30 minutes, and that's a big problem. And then parents, well, we get distracted on our way to work, right? We're, we don't even know our, our child is there. And then if they fall asleep, you don't see them, you don't hear them, and often parents miss the daycare center. And then the child's in the back seat. And this happens even more when your routine is, is changed. So if your routine's changed, especially, it can happen. So it can really be a dangerous situation for your child. So Doc, what advice do you have to help parents make sure that something like this doesn't happen to their children? Yeah, bottom line, Alan, is that make sure that you look in the back seat. So if you need to put your cell phone in there, you got to put your purse in there, your briefcase, something that makes you look in the back seat. And I would do it even when your child's not there so that you have that as a routine, as a practice. The problem is that if you don't do that, you know, you could lose the, the, the child's life, and that's the critical card. And I want you to always remember the first thing I said, there is no safe amount of time to leave a child in the vehicle, so just don't do it. Not even for a minute. All right, thanks. Great advice, Doc. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to tune in this Saturday at 5 p.m. for an all-new episode of The Dr. Nandy Show. You'll hear from the inventor of the Keen bracelet designed to break unwanted habits, things like hair pulling, nail biting, and even thumb sucking.